Hey everybody, this is Ruka777 on Twitch and Kick, coming with the Worker Empire video that I so needed to do, so bad. I've been talking about it a lot in chat, and I'm just finally going to go ahead and crush this thing. So, first things first, for new players, you need a family inventory. Especially later. Like, you can start getting these nodes and workers done early, but you need to be 60 plus on one character in order to do the family inventory quest line. And this activates this. And as most people do know, you can put your food or your workers and or beer into this and it will auto feed them. This is a new feature for workers. When you bring it up, hit recover all. When they hit zero, it will take from this and it will feed them and they will continue to work and provide. So, if your storages are empty, or if you want to use contribution points to expand their storage so that you can claim these items, that's best to do with your contribution points. Now, you should have around 60. Hmm. Level 60, 60 contribution points. So you can get most of these nodes, and I will let you know which ones to go first. If you did not unlock Land of the Morning Light as your starting area, which is fine, it's a bore, I know. Then, going ahead and doing the Magnus, as much of a chore it is, or finding a way to get yourself to the island in any way as a new player or a returning player, that's the best way to start. So if you have everything ready to go, everything out here is one contribution point. And everything is worth it except flowers and fruits of certain kinds. So what you're looking for when like, you click a town, let me close this and get it out of the way, you're looking for here in the top right, you're looking for this pickaxe icon. This is the NPC that will sell you workers by using your energy. Now, it might take a bit to get a good worker. So new players, just go ahead and uh, just take the first worker or two that you select, unless you have plenty of energy that you don't mind using. It does regen slow over time. So, you're going to want to access lodging here for one contribution point. It gets the maximum, and that's about what you're going to need and turtles work. So, I'm going to explain something. There are goblins, humans, giants in the base world. Yokebi on Land in the Morning Light is a goblin, the human type is a human, and the shell folk is a giant. The closer a node is to town, the, high, the slower the worker can be for more in the end. Even if it's like, let's say a, a goblin can do it in 10 minutes and a shell folk can do it in 20, but the shell folk is going to bring like a third more for the time, but that shortens the faster it goes. And if they don't have to do enough rounding, then they actually bring a little bit more at the end if they're really close to town. So grabbing these two nodes by clicking on the town, clicking Napa Cabbage, and setting your worker, clicking this radish and setting your worker, and having turtles is actually okay. So if you can get a turtle or a human, that's great. They sell for a... Um, they're sold out on the market, I can tell you. So everything here is pretty much worth it. We have a cedar node. We have maple, and we have an excavation. If you want to do the crystals later, you can, but Mysterious Powder and the traces will sell. Sell, sell, sell. And it's all beautifully one contribution point for everything. To claim a node, to claim the lumbering or mining or excavation node on it. It's beautiful, by the way. Even the lodging. Oh, I think I said that, but I'm not sure. We have pine and bracken. Bracken cells. We have over here, I'm going to eventually get this pine, and we have another bracken. We have it connected down to get this excavation node for the powder and savagery. Crystals are kind of a bonus if I want to mess with them. You need dokebi on these two, unfortunately, because it's the dokebi forest. needs dokebi in order to function. Then over here have another bracken. And way out here, southwest, on this little island, I have another excavation node. So, if you can get here first and claim all the nodes I just mentioned, do that. Should have more than enough storage to have plenty, you know, have them work with no problem. And believe me, this adds up, especially these archaeologists. Uh, oh, this is just money waiting for. Like, Mysterious Powder only sells for 9.3, but I have 434 in here. How much do I have in other places that also have workers? We have 69, not too much, but we have a lot of wood. Here we have a lot of radish and Napa cabbage, but look at this, man. Wood, 
all of this will sell pretty much max price. With or without a value pack, though I do recommend obviously having a value pack when you sell, but that's fine. So let's get back into it. I don't use Olvia. The two nodes out here, they're not worth it. If they're worth it to you, that's fantastic. Otherwise, I wouldn't mess with it. Velia, if you plan to make your own food for your workers, go ahead and grab Bartali Farm and the, the chicken meat and eggs, or at the Finto Farm. They both have it, or have them both. That's yours to decide. Each one is one contribution point to claim and one to claim the actual node on it. Did not mean to close that. Sometimes my map decides it wants to lock up. Hi, Dell. You're going to want to go right here, straight to 4 1. Grab the lodging because you want two workers. Yeah, you got to talk to the NPC over here to get the excavation node for Trace of Savagery and Hunting. And one over here for Honey. Both of those will sell for max. You can sell off the trash or turn it in. Glish, if you want to have uh, another worker here, the only one you can get for lodging to start it off because right outside of Glish is a node for lead and one for iron. I recommend the iron, it sells for more. We move on to Tariff. Right outside Tariff, we have uh, Kasula. I will eventually do this, but I haven't gotten the contribution points. I want to finish off Land of the Morning Light. Cinnamon, I believe, sells for more than cotton. It takes a little bit to get over here outside of Altanova and Medaya, but the abandoned iron mine, it's worth it. Even if it takes a bit, the zinc ore, not just that, but the platinum ore sells for a lot because of horse shenanigans. And then Iron Node is only one, so eventually getting it would be fantastic. Again, if you need to uh, spend contribution to expand the storage because you don't have enough room, because you're questing and constantly depositing, go ahead and do that. You can always take it out later if you have um, freed up some space. You don't need to have everything connected, might I add, unless you feel like trading later, but that's a different video. For Sangram Bazaar, we have the node across the desert here at Pilgrim's Haven, for the iron node. Now it is four contribution points to get out there. And see, I took my points out over here, but it is worth it towards the end of when you need to. Both Valencia and Arahaza share a node right here. It's one to claim and three for each of these, seven in total. But you can have each free worker going. Eventually I will come back to that, but for now it's not worth it. Calpheon does not have a good small node just outside its perimeter. So Calpheon you'll more or less use as a dumping crown like I do. I just have a bunch of random stuff. When you get enough contribution points and you want to dabble in getting further out to make more money, you can get the ore nodes. And here we have another birch node. All of this sells for max. Portiferia is in the similar boat. It takes three contribution points to get this NPC out. So not entirely worth it until much later. We get to Keplin. Keplin has a coal node right outside. It's not fantastic, but I use it in order to make steel. And again, that's for trading. So for now, if you just want to use that worker, coal and powder of rift is your best bet. For Trent, we have the Lumberjack's Rest right out here, and it will claim for the cedar node right here. Real quick and easy. Your choice of worker anywhere. We get to Old Wisdom Tree. Even though there is no icon that shows that there is an NPC to purchase workers, he is here. He's over here, even though he's not marked, in order to claim your free worker there. And you're going straight for Shady Tree Forest and the Moss Tree Timber. Now there's sap and plank, so you're going to be pulling in. It takes a while for that to sell, but it does sell. If you're not trading, I don't recommend go for Flounder first because it's five contribution points in total, three for the node, two to claim. So instead, we go for this one, Southern Comma Sylvia, for the knock ore. It's two to claim and two to secure. So four versus five. If you want both eventually, you're going to have to save up a bit and also get lodging for, a free, for another worker. Adraxia has one right outside. Shiv Valley, it's Thornwood Timber and Sap right there easy i make crates with that so i don't sell it juven croon doesn't have anything good unless you want corn and barley unless you want that it's not worth it for the contribution points required if they were one one sure but it's two two not worth 
When we get to Elton, I do have two different nodes mainly. I'm going to be going for Maslin eventually. Citron sells for max. It's two and two to claim. And down here, it's two and one for the honey. So if you want to save one, you can. But you're going to have them both anyway. And the excavation, I think. So it's a little pricey, but I'm all about those traces. Ooh. That's pretty much it. I recommend hitting Land of the Morning Light first and sell everything on the market. Definitely worth it. Look. Oh, hey, look, I want a dragon. Perfect. But look, Powder of Flame, Powder of Rift, Sap, Knots, they will eventually sell with or without a value pack. Though, if you can wait until you have a value pack, it's very worth it. So I recommend that. Make sure you have your family inventory. Make sure they're constantly fed their meat or beer and sell when you can or sell all the time. That's your choice. This is Ruka777 and I hope you stick around for my Opti video that will be coming out later this week. You can catch me on Twitch or Kick at the same tag.